everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my channel is about law, personal finance, and lifestyle. And this video will be about law. So for those of you who are aspiring attorneys or you plan on going to law school and those of you who are in law school, this video is for you. So stay tuned. Okay, so this video is going to be about my study routine for the bar exam. This is actually a highly requested video and I know there's a lot of people sitting for the bar exam right now for the July sitting. Um, so I just really kind of want to quickly talk about my study schedule and what I did to pass the bar exam the first time. So for those of you who follow me already, um, I have a video about what I did to um, pass the bar exam the first time. So please feel free to look at that. I'll make sure I have it in the link below. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into it right now. <laughs> okay, so first I kinda wanna throw out a, a few disclaimers before going into my study routine. So I took the bar exam last October, and yes, October, because um, it was pushed back because of the pandemic. Um, it was just completely unforeseen. Any, nobody you know, had any clue that this was gonna happen. It was a crazy time. Um, but it was pushed back, it was in October. It was done remotely, so that was different too, first time. Um, so it was just really, really challenging. And during that time, I had to move, you know, from my law school to a different state. Um, and I also had to start my LLM program. So I just finished my LLM in tax. And I had to do that program um, while I was sitting for the bar exam as well. So it was about a six to seven week overlap. My, I studied for the bar exam for 12 weeks. And like the last I think it was seven weeks I was in that LLM program. So my study schedule, you know, kind of varied a little bit depending on one, what phase I was in in studying and two, um, depending on what I was doing in my LLM program as well. So just a little disclaimer for you guys. Okay, so first, I'm just kind of going to go into my study routine and I'm, I'm actually looking at a paper now <laughs> because I... Um, I can't remember it exactly just because it was a you know a couple months ago but i do remember the number one thing i did or how i started every morning is well i woke up at six which i know might be a little early for some people but it really works for me and i woke up at 6 a.m and from 6 to 6 45 i actually stayed in my bed and i just got my mind together i would read meditate read the bible write in my journal and I did that every morning from sitting in the bar exam. Like I can go through my journal and you know, every day I wrote um, and I can see like about my experiences, what I was going through. And I just did that to start my day off and to get in a positive mindset and to get in peace and in tune with myself. So I would definitely recommend that even if it's just for 15, 30 minutes early to start your day. Even if you decide to, you know, like I said, meditate or um, do a little quick workout to get your blood flowing. Do something before just rolling out of bed and going straight to the bar exam or studying for it because it's it's intense. It can be draining. So, you know, give yourself a little break and just a, a mental break and, you know, find your peace. Find your morning peace. Okay. <laughs> okay. So after that, like from about 6.45 to 7.15, I would make my coffee, breakfast. I would do, you know, generally a fast, light breakfast every morning. Definitely, you know, I, I would definitely eat healthy during this time period. I wasn't going to, you know, put garbage in my body while I was studying for 12 weeks. So I would normally do like oatmeal or like peanut butter toast or something pretty light um, during the week. And on the weekend, I might do something like a little heavier, like a pancake or omelet or something like that. So that's what I did in the morning. And then from about 7.15 to like 8, um, again, this was just depending on like where I was in my study routine, I would generally review. So if you saw my, you know, video talking about how I passed the bar exam the first time, I talked about those critical pass cards, which are these cards right here. But I would generally review these. Um, I would actually like talk to myself like in the mirror and quote the rule of law and then, you know, look on the back to make sure I got it right. So I would normally do that sometimes it would actually go over 45 minutes. Sometimes I'd be doing it for like three hours. It just kind of depended on my need at that time. Um, so I would normally start my day off doing this or I would use those poster boards and I would kind of walk around my house and jog my memory on the rule of law before I actually sat down and started studying or writing. So that's what I did. And then at like eight, so from about eight to 11, I would study again, just depending. I may have been going through um, videos or doing multiple choice or MEEs. It just kind of depended. I never like said okay only during this time i'm only doing mbe like i never did that i just kind of went based on what my need was and what my study plan was so 
from 8 to 11, I did some studying. From about 11 to 12, I took a lunch break. Sometimes it would be a little longer, sometimes it'd be shorter. Um, if it was longer, it was generally because I had to like run to the grocery store or do some errands or something like that. Um, and then after I got back or finished eating from like 12 to 3.30, I would study again. Again, depending on the need, depending on what I was doing. And um, if you haven't noticed, like most of my like longer study chunks, they're like three to four hours. I never studied. I mean, you know, depending on mo most of the time and just depending on the day, I never really studied more than four hours at a time because I would get mentally drained um, and I wouldn't have the energy to keep going throughout the day. So even if it's just 15 minutes walking away from your desk, 15 minutes to get sunlight, something like that, do that. Give yourself a little break and then come back to it. It's going to be here. <laughs> so, you know, those are the best recommendations through to four hour blocks. You know, you can do it all through, you know, throughout the day, but give yourself 10, 15 minute breaks in between. So, you know, 12 to 3.30, I studied. Um, about 3.30 to 4, I would give myself a break, get a snack, um, maybe, you know, walk outside, get some fresh sunlight. I need some vitamin D. We do that. Um, and then from 4 to 7, I would study again. So that longer block of studying again. Um, and then, like I said, I just depending on what, you know, I was doing at the time, you know, if it was the MBE, I really need to focus on MBE or just based on my study plan. That's what I would do. And then generally from like seven to eight, I would have dinner. Um, I would like to cook, um, as much as possible. Uh, well, actually I would really, I wouldn't necessarily meal plan. I guess kind of, that's what I was doing, but I would just make a lot of leftovers or I would try to, again, make you know, something as easy and healthy as possible. Um, so from seven to eight, I would have dinner. A lot of times um, before I had dinner, I would do a TV workout. So if you know me, I love to work out. I actually really like going to the gym, but because of the pandemic, um, you know, a lot of gyms were closed and, you know, I really had to adjust to, you know, studying at home. Like I literally studied in this closet and took the bar. It, like it's like a, a big study closet, but I literally studied in here and took the bar exam here. Um, and I, you know, also had to get used to working out at home. So I found a, um, a free workout program that's actually on YouTube. Um, I think her name's, um, Heather Robertson, I believe. Um, but she has a 12 week free workout program. It's like five days a week. It's a lot of hit training. You don't need anything but like a mat and maybe like five pound weights, light stuff and like a yoga ball. And that was perfect for me. Um, it was perfect because it was 30 minutes. It was short, straight to the point. And in those 30 minutes, you guys, I would be dripping sweat at the end. Like that could just be me, but it was a great workout. I definitely got in what I, you know, what I need to do. And then I, you know, ate dinner, showered, and yeah, I was good. Okay, so after that, after I showered and everything, um, I would come back here, back to my study, study, you know, place. And actually, sometimes, you know, I wouldn't just study in my study closet, but I also studied like in my kitchen. I have a big table in there. Um, or if I was doing videos, sometimes I'd put it on my coffee table and sit on my couch and write. It just depends. I would give myself a break to, you know, give myself room around the house. Um, I actually got this apartment specifically for that reason because I knew I had to study at home and I wanted to give myself space. So be mindful of what place you're studying and give yourself a variety of options if that works for you. Um, but from eight to 10, I would study again. Um, and generally I found myself as time went on, I generally use this time to do practice MEEs or practice MPTs. So I would definitely recommend do those, you know, follow your studies, your study schedule and actually do full ones. Like I know a lot of times people just outline the MEEs and MPTs and they don't actually write full ones like for practice. So I'm not saying you have to write all of them, but at least write, you know, quite a few. Like for me, I did, I think, I want to say, I know I did at least probably four or five full MPTs. And I know, you know, the recommendation is people are like, oh, I've only, you know, done one or two and they get by. But I know for me, the first time I did MPT, I did not feel confident. So I really wanted to make sure that on test day I felt confident. So I did at least four or five full ones. And then the MEE, you know, I, I did plenty of those. There's different subjects. So you really um, just have to be well versed in those subjects. So just practice as much as possible. So yeah. Okay, so after that, um, 
10 o'clock, you know, I would normally stop studying. Sometimes I would go over that. It just depends. Sometimes I might stop a little earlier if I was really tired. But at 10 to 11, I would shower, get ready for bed. And actually, um, a lot of times when I was running errands or showering or anything, I would have my Google Home. Like, you know, if you have like a Alexa or something. And I would play these lectures. Um, and I would just play them over and over to reiterate you know his explanations of the law in my head and like i said i would do that sometimes when i was in the shower if i was like sitting in the bathtub trying to relax or something or if i was just running errands i would have it in my airpods while i was going like i literally needed to breathe the law <laughs> at that time so i really did that to help you know get the rule of law in my head but also the reasoning um in my head so some of those videos were like or those lectures were like really really good um, so that's what I did. Um, I also, when I was in my bathroom, um, I have a huge, huge mirror and I'll make sure I insert a picture, but I have a huge, huge mirror. Um, and I honestly used it like a whiteboard and I wrote some of the rules of law, depending on which ones I was really, really struggling with. And I would look at that too. So I would just say, you know, again, Passing the bar is not an easy task, but it is definitely doable. But in order to do that, you really have to cut a lot out and you really have to dedicate yourself to it. Um, for me, like I said, I have a lot of friends. Um, I love social media. You know, I'm on Instagram. I love to travel, but I really had to cut those things out for those 12 weeks. I was completely off Instagram. I deleted the app on my phone. Um, I think the only like thing I went to when I was sitting for the bar exam, it was like one weekend I went to my friend's like um, bridal shower, but that was it. Um, I only talked to like two of my, you know, really good friends and my sister, um, of course my family and stuff. So just let people know what you're doing. Um, yes, you can still have friends. Yes, you can still do things. Um, but just, you know, let people know what you're doing so you don't feel guilty or anything like that. Like you still definitely need people through this process. It's hard and I wouldn't say just isolate yourself for two weeks. No, by any means, no. Have at least one accountability partner, whether that's a law classmate or a friend you can call. Have somebody who you can just kind of talk to and hold you accountable. But you do have to, you know, really work hard, really push it through um, and have a balance. So, yeah. Okay, and also, you know, if you choose to do a study course, which I would recommend, you know, it could be through a theme miss, Barbary Kaplan or whichever, you know, are offered out there. Um, aim to complete, you know, the amount they recommend. I know, I know a lot of people, I think it's like 75% or something like that. I would complete, you know, at least that 75 to, you know, 85%. Repetition really matters. The key is repetition and practice and exposing yourself to as much material as possible. So, you know, you can't do that if you, you know, not even hitting that 75%. So, do your best to complete at least that 75%, 75 to 85% of that program. And I think you'll be, you'll be in good shape for the day of the bar exam. <laughs> um, and so the last thing, of course, I know I mentioned this in my other video, but I studied six days a week and I took the seventh day off. So I would study up until Friday night at seven. And then um, Friday nights, I would binge watch my favorite shows, which are Scandal and Gossip Girl. So <laughs> during those 12 weeks of the bar exam, I binged watch those sh shows. That was it. Friday night, those were the only two shows I watched. I enjoyed it. Like I really did. You guys, I had my glass of wine. I enjoyed it. And I woke up as late as I wanted to on Saturday. It could be 10. It could be 11. It didn't matter. Um, and on Saturday, I did no work. I wasn't going to do any rigorous cleaning around the house. I wasn't anything that I didn't want to do. I didn't do until seven o'clock Saturday night. Um, so Saturday, I normally, like I said, gave myself a big brunch because I love brunch. Brunching is my favorite thing to do. If you guys want to go brunching, let me know. <laughs> so I would make myself some mimosas. I would make myself a nice breakfast. And then I might go sit on my porch or go walking downtown or just do something I wanted to do. Um, sometimes I would even go to the gym. Some people might, you know, find that to be a chore, but I truly actually, I enjoy working out. It's just, you know, sometimes hard, it was hard finding the time. So sometimes I would just go to the gym and just work out and just, you know, have my mind at ease, just do something I wanted to do. Or sometimes I would go visit my family that day. So that's just kind of what worked for me. You know, I, I stuck to that schedule during my 12 weeks. And another thing, this is my like last tip. 
um, I know most bar programs or um, schools, they recommend 10 weeks of study, which I think is great. Yes, you should study for 10 weeks. Um, the reason I did 12, I think this was um, based on the advice of one of my um, professors at the school. Um, I did 12 weeks because sometimes it actually ends up being 10 or you end up falling behind or, you know, you'll always feel a little behind. So sometimes life happens. Like I said, I had to move from uh, my law school to another state. So that literally knocked out three days. Like I literally didn't do much studying and I was exhausted and unpacking, getting settled. Um, and then in addition, I started that LLM program. So there were some days where I was really studying for class or I got called on um, or I had to do something for law journal. So I would try to put in a little cushion of a week or two into your study program. And, you know, I just think that that'll really, really benefit you. But Set yourself a schedule. Do your best to stick to it. Like I said, don't be too, too rigid. Like, be like oh, I have to do this at 8.15 or I have to. No, like, I didn't even do that. This is just kind of the flow of what my day was. Um, and I just, you know, took it day by day with that. But it just, it, it honestly kind of felt, it, it flew this way. That's how my schedule was. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> okay, so you guys, that's pretty much my bar exam study routine. If you guys have any more questions, please just let me know or put them down in the comments below. I'm on Instagram at underscore Brooke Faye. And like I said, I hope you guys really like this video. And if you have any more questions, just hit me up. Bye. And good luck to my bar exam takers. Good luck, good luck, good luck. You got it. <laughs>